Well, today the Hamilton County Prosecutor's Office says it's working closely with police to determine how many children were harmed and how many workers will be arrested. Tomorrow, this case comes up in the court here again because the first worker arrested has an arraignment. Parents are coming forward today who say they sent their children to Small Kids Adventures Learning Center too. I want to know everything. I want to see the videos. Surveillance footage from inside the daycare in which police say it appears numerous children were harmed and multiple staff members were observed harming children. That comes from an Ohio Department of Job and Family Services public record I obtained Wednesday that shows why JFS ordered the center to shut down this week. I want to know if either of my children are on that video. Yes, that's very important to me and it's very concerning to, you know, parents. You trust these people with your children's life. Catherine Jett says her two and three year old attended the daycare in February and the JFS record says police are reviewing video that spans from February 10th to March 10th. Investigators wrote in the JFS report so far on one day alone they saw a worker smack a child, grab a child by the front of the neck, hit child in head with dustpan, slam hand in door. The observations go on. Luckily, one of these kids are not dead. Police began reviewing the video after arresting Christian Hemet this month. They say cameras caught her assaulting a one-year-old. The daycare's attorney, Carl Lewis, previously told me then managers are the ones who discovered the video, fired Hemet, and alerted JFS immediately. When it appeared on the screen, you could have, my client about passed out. You heard from the toddler's mother who asked for privacy but said, They're amazing in my opinion. The JFS record reveals a former owner who stepped down to become a staff member is one of those under investigation now. And we are waiting for an updated response from the attorney. The parents that I have spoke to, all of us are concerned that our child was facing some type of abuse. And this record that says the staff member who used to own the place is under an ownership ban until August 2023. That stems from an issue back in 2018. I'm waiting to hear back from the attorney on that. I'm also waiting to hear from him, its attorney. And tomorrow we will be here as she's at the courthouse for that arraignment. Reporting live in Cincinnati, Courtney Francisco, WCPO 9 News.